I felt so vulnerable knowing the world would see this. Of course, I also knew it would make for great TV. When the episode aired, the media compared me to a Tasmanian devil because I was such an intense windstorm of emotions. And it was true. I was simultaneously trying to handle a grueling new work schedule and being filmed most of the time, which is the most unnatural, intense thing ever, alongside trying to manage my alcoholism. The trip to Newport took a toll on my relationships with my castmates. It was hard to know where the line was with them. Some booze-fueled brawls and late-night antics were received with delight, while other escapades generated biting criticism and drama. After that trip, I wanted to cool it, both with drinking and with stirring up the shit on camera. I pride myself on owning my mistakes and knowing when to make amends. It was similar to how I felt the morning after our infamous night at Ramona's home in the Hamptons, where I threw the tiki torches across her yard. I knew that I was in the wrong, that we'd made a big mess during our drunk shenanigans. When I woke up, 